So, back to the grind again. All right, here we go. This is going to be pretty interesting. Hmm. General Quarters. full on <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, good. I finally have it. It's great. Just like in the bed.
But damn, man. Spotter airborne. Um. is like gay to wife.
Ah! That's fine. Oh. is how you apply the all higher. <laughs> very good warship. I have to admit, for rank battles, for random battles, and when you play it correctly, that's a good ship. Secondary is nice. Um, the any aircraft defense is good. Didn't have any aircraft that one, so we didn't have to test that capability. But I will say this much, it's a very good warship. I've played this warship about four times now, and not a single defeat yet, but it was worth playing each one. So far, uh, you've noticed that the Ohio is a ship that really plays a support role. Not a really a brawling ship. I don't have to go up close and personal yet, unless you learn how to tweak it that way. But I think overall, what I'm saying is that. It's a good ship to play, I roll. So yeah man, I mean like, uh, definitely, definitely worth getting. Definitely worth getting. Um, so, just to remind people how to get the IO, um, you have to have at least five 210 warships uh, with a minimum requirement. So you have to go to your tech tree, and make sure you got at least a minimum five of these um, ships, you know, like you're choosing, wherever they are. And then you should be able to reset the line. Now, I'll go into the details of the reset in progress. The great thing about this is basically you won't lose your captains. Your commanders will still be there, okay, in the reserve. Um, any consumables, modules, I uh, think that will be either refunded or put in the inventory. Uh, so that it can be reused again. 
Um, in terms of the ships themselves, they'll be sold and you can use the in-game credits to buy them back. Now, the quickest way of grinding back to get to the Ohio from tier 1 to 10 is uh, one of the ways that you have to get the XP flags, the experience flags so that you can get your um, experience flags in battle up to date as soon as possible. Not the commando ones, just ignore that for a moment. The thing about um, grinding your way through that is that uh, you'll find yourself in a situation where you can eventually get to uh, appreciate the bigger moments in the game where as you grind through the, uh, to the Hulk of Tears you can reuse your captains and actually start using them again uh, with whatever specs they were being specced into the camouflages will be there and you will have to put them back on flags will just have to be re-equipped modules and that will have to be re-equipped uh, the only downside is that as you research and get it back from tier 1 to 10 is that any propulsion or targeting systems or any additional hull um, for the ships all the guns and that needs to be researched and <coughs> upgraded <coughs> but um, yeah you definitely will appreciate um, the biggest thing that you'll find that um, when you're researching uh, your ships is that you'll find out like how much XP points you're expected to get back from it so basically if you reset the line you see how much credit you get back uh, from T6 onwards, you get the research bureau points. Remember that if you do it the first time around and you, um, and you happen to be at the reset time for it, it's at least two times. Uh, so it'll be like double the amount, it'll be like 20,000. So uh, in this case, at T6, you get 1,000, T7, 1,000. T8 uh, and 9 will be. 3,000 for each, so it's like 6,000 there, and then you add another 6,000 for the uh, T10, um, and then then it's you know basically um, your own version of it. So basically, just remember the first time you do it, it could be two times or three times, and it'll be double or triple the amount of. Research Bureau points. Um, if it's doing it once, it's definitely like 500, 500, 1500, 1500, uh, 6000, just like that on the screen. A maximum of 10,000 points. Um, what else is going to say? Nah, I think that will cover it for now. Um, just remember that when you do convert an XP, just remember to have a lot, lot of doubloons for it, uh, real life money for doing that sort of thing. Um, but if you plan to research towards a 9 tier 10 of your choice, that could be handy. So, yeah, I'm just tired from doing it. Um, nine days in a row grinding for this thing. Finally have, I'm glad. Now um, in the army when you guys are research bureau the ship is now unlocked and all yours. That's it. Beautiful warship. questions or not, let us know.
And yeah, definitely. With Wall Game Ohio. Peace, guys.